This is the Urcolina TB60TC with its two-axis positioner table, a system designed to make automated bending both simple and highly accurate. Its quick-change tooling makes setup super easy, reducing job downtime. The table's chuck provides both linear and rotational movement, ensuring precise positioning for complex, multi-plane bends. Today, we'll be building a basic handrail. To get started, you'll need to make a mark on your material at the beginning of each bend. Here are the dimensions we'll be working with. Now that the layout phase is complete, the next step is to input the program into the TB60TC. To begin, press the program icon, then the blank field. Enter program name. For this example we'll call it handrail. Press the paper icon. Then press the check mark. Press the arrow to enter data. Press the first bend angle of the program. Enter in your value of 90 degrees. Enter your spring back value. Spring back changes with the material. Mild steel usually needs 12 to 14 degrees. Enter your desired bending speed. On typical bends it will be about 80%. Now that we've completed the first bend data entry, fill in the rest of the data for bend 2 and 3. Press the save icon, followed by the paper icon. Then press the check mark. Return to the home screen and select the repeat bends icon. Here we see the fields for the program name, bend number, bend angle, spring back and speed. With the program loaded, the next step is to set the table stops for our first, second, and third bends. Connect the air supply first to ensure the pneumatic system is ready. You can then slide the material in from the side and pull the lever to supply air, which engages the jaws and locks the pipe in place for bending. Slide the chuck and pipe to the first bend stop. Line up your mark with the tangent line on the center former. Slide your first stop into position and lock it in place, then simply repeat this procedure for the second and third bend locations. Release the air valve to unclamp the pipe. Slide the chuck back past the second bend position. Then turn the air back on, making sure the chuck is pressed firmly against the first stop. Swing the vise into its working position. Next, turn the hand wheel clockwise to advance the vise until you feel a semi-snug fit against the material. With your program loaded, press the bend icon or use the foot pedal to start the bend. Once the cycle is complete, use the return icon or pedal to bring the center former back to its zero position. You'll see the program automatically index to the next bend's parameters. To position the material, push the chuck past the next stop and then pull it back firmly against it to ensure accuracy. Repeat these steps for bends 2 and 3. With our final bend complete, the last step is to release the air pressure and slide out the finished part. Let's take a look at our new handrail, complete with its precise 90, 35, and 55 degree bends. We hope this demonstration was helpful. Thank you for watching.